Hello, welcome. Welcome to my video. Thank you for coming back. If you are returning, thank you for stopping by. If this is your first time, I'm Megan. This is my YouTube channel where I talk about cross stitch. Pretty much. Only cross stitch. It's my primary hobby and I love it a lot. Um, this is my January 2022 wrap up video. It's January 30th today, Sunday. The sun is shining nice and bright, which is always great. Direct lighting is fantastic. I love it. Makes me look like a vampire. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Um, this month has been busy. Cross stitch wise and like personal wise. So I am, I have a really big life update. Like pretty big, very big. And I'm very excited about it. But I'm going to save it for after the cross stitch because we're here for cross stitch and you can get to know my personal life later if you want to you know what i'm saying so um yes uh mini life update i dyed my hair i don't know if you can tell it's like it's like i before i was like a blondish brown and now i'm like red You can't really tell the difference, but I can tell the difference and I love it. I did not like it at first. When she first did it, I was like, oh my God, oh my God, I look like a pumpkin. What a mistake. But it wasn't. It's grown on me. It's faded a little. It's not quite as orange. It's more like a gingery. It's nice. I really like it. It looks better in person. I also look extremely pale. It's okay. You're used to it by now. Um, okay, so yeah, hair done. Uh, more life up update later. I'm gonna jump right into my cross stitch stuff. So, um, happy 2022. I know I've already seen you. I did my tote. A journey through my cross stitching tote earlier like at the be very beginning of the month but happy 2022 in terms of normal videos the stuff you come back for right um so super quick summary of my very recent cross stitch <clears throat> journey last year in 2021 i was stitching for razor focus projects they were um, June Blooms by Margaret Morales, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. They were the uh, Summer, Fall, Winter, and Spring Owls by Sandra Vargas, charted by Gecko Rouge. Technically, those are four projects, but like they're part of a series, so I was I'm only counting them as one. I also only stitch one at a time. I was doing the Tiny Modernist Zodiac Stitch Along, and I was doing Cricut Collection months, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Uh, so those are my four projects last year. And um, my 2022 goals for the year are to finish all of the Cricut Collection pieces. There are 12 of them, so I would like to have 12 finishes this year. And so far I am on track. I'm actually going to have 13, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. She says, very nervous that that might not be the case. Um, so pretty much all of those projects have moved over into this year. So I'm really sorry for the rep repetitiveness of the fact that I have a whole tote full of stuff and I'm only working on four projects. But um, I, uh, it's, you know, it's what it is. If you're, if you're, if you, if you don't know me, I was a monogamous stitcher. I think that's everybody's story. I was a monogamous stitcher and then I found floss tube and everybody had like a thousand projects. So now I have a thousand projects. The same. Copy paste. So um, the projects that I was working on last year are going to be the same projects that I'm working on this year. But I'm really hoping for lots of progress and finishes on these projects. So I'm not mad about it. Of course I'm not mad about it. It was my choice. So anyway, that's the the pro the projected uh, future for the year um the same <laughs> exciting there's noises happening in my apartment so i'm sorry if you can hear them the people upstairs i believe have a toddler 
and they bathe the toddler about 12 times a day. I don't have a toddler. I've never had a toddler. So I don't know if that's normal. I'm sure it probably is. Toddlers are busy. So if you can hear stuff happening in the background, I'm sorry. Apartment life. Cross stitch. Okay, cross stitch. So normally when I show my cross stitch, I go in the order that I've worked on them throughout the month. But I'm not going to do that because I've had some finishes. So I'm going to show my whip first and then a finish and then finish and then finish. I have three, I have three, I have two, two finishes and one page finish. Um, and then one knot. So I'm going to show the knot first. So this piece is my ride or die, my absolute favorite, my favorite piece I've ever stitched ever. I'm so in love with this piece. It is June Blooms by Margaret Morales, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. I got a page finish on this one too this month, actually. I had two, yes. Whoa, January, month of finishes. Um, so I have a page finish on this, and then I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to go to column in a bit over from the page finish. <sighs> Look at how beautiful. Look at the colors. I'm sorry it's still in the frame. I'm currently stitching this and I'm going to continue to stitch this once I'm done so I didn't really want to take it out of the frame. But I have four pages finished and then I have one more page and then I have like the little skinny last page and then the row is finished. <sighs> I'm so excited. Uh, she's seen a lot of love this month, thankfully, and she'll probably see quite a lot of love next month, February. Um, but there she is, June Blooms. This is 1 over 1, 25 count. I don't know what the fabric is, but it's really nice. Stitching it with just normal DMC. Oh, love of my life. Love of my life. Ooh I, have, ooh, I have my tablet here so I can actually tell you what percentage I'm at. Sorry, I seem to have a small, small running nose. It's more of a jogging nose. What's my percentage, friends? 15.31%. <laughs> That's a lot. I'm so happy. <clears throat> anyway, so there she is. My pride and joy. My one true love. love, of my life. That song came on the radio this week for like the first time in a million years. I was like, oh, I love that song. Love of my life. Okay, so that was my Haid. Um, my next project that I am stitching on is um, Charted by Gecko Rouge. The artwork is by Sandra Vargas, and they are seasonal owls. And I'm stitching on the winter owl right now because it is winter here in Canada. Um, my goal for these owls is to have a page finish every year. So like last year in 2021, I had a page finish on each of them. This year in 2022, I'm going to strive to have a page finish on each of them as well. And then um, it's going to take like a million years, but I like to, uh, you know, whatever, it's fine. It's fine. So this is what he looks like when he's done. They're so stinking cute, and like all of this background is stitched. So the first page of all of them was just background. So the first page went really fast, and then the second page, I'm like getting into his like ear and half his eyeball. <laughs> These are on Easy Grid, Magic Grid, Ada, 25 count, Ada. Um, I washed the lines out because I don't like the lines. If you watched any of my videos last year, you know. But this one, I had started to stitch with the red lines. Uh, and so I had to wash out the red lines with the stitching on it. And I almost had a heart attack, but it was fine. <clears throat> I thought they would stain, I thought the red lines would stain the beige stitches pink or red, and they didn't. So all's well, all's well. So here's, my, here's here it is. Yeah, this lighting is not nice for uh, this particular piece. So, that's two pages. Two pages, and I see there's his ear. 
And when I had, I think when I had shown him to you the last time, just a little bit of his ear was done. So I finished the whole corner there. So yeah, he's coming along. That there he is. I got all the matching little needle needle minders, and I have this needle minder too. I have no parked threads on this, Darcy. I have no parked threads. Clean and crisp. Oh, I know why. I made a point of unparking all of my threads because I already have a page finish, but I have technically one more month of stitching on this, so it's going away for until December, and I didn't really want to put it away with all this park threads. So uh, yeah, that's why. There's a story behind it, but there it is. Page finish. Mm -hmm. The, the Gecko Rouges are actually quite a lot of fun to stitch. I like the fact that they put all of their thread on little floss cards. I'm not going to show you this particular uh, floss card because this was before Joe at Belushi Stitches told me about braiding the flosses. So this is a disaster. I'm not going to sully my reputation by showing you that disaster. I didn't bring my stitch book. Normally I tell you how many day days that I stitched on that. I didn't stitch on that very much because there wasn't very much until the end of the page. So I think maybe I had three days worth of stitching on that. Oh, I didn't put the... That's later's problem. Um, okay, so then I had... Okay, so I now I have two full finishes. Not framed, sorry. They're not fully finished, but they are finished stitching completely. Finito. No more. So the first one that I'm going to show you is the Zodiac Stitch Along by a Tiny Modernist. This started in January of last year and it went until January of this year. It was all the Zodiacs, so all 12 Zodiacs, and then she had like a little motif for this month, so it was actually 13 months worth of stitching. 14, 14 parts, I should say, because you could stitch the borders first which I did not do, and then you could stitch each individual thing and then the motifs. So it is totally finished. Safe and E. I'm so excited about it. <laughs> so the top motif is a little sun, and the bottom motif is a little moon, which I love that moon, excuse me. Carly, look. It's a sun with a face. It's your jam. I was thinking about you the entire time I was stitching it. Anyway, so there's my finish. Ah, look, it looks so good. She had all of eight colors in this piece. I think I think she had like two purples, two pinks, three greens, a gold, a darker gold, a light gold, and then like a medium gold. I didn't count in my brain as I was talking, but... So there it is, totally finished. I think my favorite, um, I think my favorite Zodiac piece is still the scales down here, Libra. But I also love Leo. This was stitch two over two on whatever this fabric was. And it's finished! <clears throat> First finished of 2022. I stitched on it one day. <laughs> I finished it on January 1st. Woo! And I signed it too. And my I signed it down here at the bottom. MP22. And my mother was like, what? You signed it 2022? Like, you stitched it for a day. And I was like, yeah, this one. <laughs> so she was like, you should have put 2021 because you did all the stitching in 2021. And I was like, sure, but that would be dishonest. Because how could I have finished it in 2021 when this last piece didn't come out until 2022? That's falsification. That's fraud. <laughs> anyway, so super, super happy. That's finish number one of a projected 13 finishes. How exciting. I'm pretty excited. Um, so now I have to kind of put away all of the flosses that are in here, which I'm super, actually super excited to do. I might do that after this video is finished because um, I'm, I'm trying out a new floss organizational system. I'll let you know how it goes. But finish number one. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, though. Like, I, I want to frame it, but, like, probably 
me frame it, not professionally framed, but then I don't know where to put it. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I'll figure it out. My third, fourth and final pro project of the month is also a finish, almost a finish. It is the January Cricut Collection. I've been stitching these since 2020. <laughs> 2020, almost put a two in there, but nope. 2020. Um, and it's finished. Well, it's almost finished. It's finished save one stitch. And I thought, wouldn't it be fun if I finished it here with you? So you can be part of my finishing journey. Right? I know. You thanks for thanks for stopping by. What a monumentous occasion. Okay, so here it is. Ooh. I can't remember when I stitched what, to be honest. I stitched the A, the R, and the Y this month. So I finished I finished three letters this month. <sighs> Except I'm a stitch short, so this little pink, this pink floss here. I did not stitch the angel's cheek. So here we go. Do you guys start your floss like that? What's it called? It's not a pin stitch. I guess it's like a loops. It's like a loop start. I don't know how to hold it so that I can show you the fun stuff. Finished. <laughs> Totally finished. I'll, I'll cut that thread off later. I'm, not gonna, I'm sure you don't even like to do that for your own stitches. But there it is. Totally finished. Every stitch accounted for. Um, the only thing about this this particular pattern that I'm not happy with is this clock is actually wrong. It it's charted for this silver. I checked a thousand times. It's charted for the silver, but when you go and you look at the picture. It's got gold in the middle. So I'm not happy about that, but I had already done the back stitch and everything by the time I realized that it was wrong, so it's okay. So there it is. January. Totally finished. Thanks for stopping in. Totally finished. Wow. So that's finish number two of a projected 13. And that's all I have for projects that I'm working on. But I have haul. And I have quite a lot of haul. Um, what do I want to show you first? Okay, I'll do this one first. So I am subscribed to Yummylicious. Yummy. Jeez. Fiberlicious Yummy Fibers. I just call them Yummylicious because they are. So I'm going to be subscribed to this for 12 months because I have a plan for 12 months worth of fabric and so this is my second month this is december's pack and i got the floss and the fabric to show you and i'm super super excited so i'm going to show you the let's show you the fabric first so i got the 32 count linen 17 by 26 piece and the color this month for december sorry this is december's color this month is Hidden Treasure. It It's really washing out because of the sun, but it's almost, it's like gold. It's not really like orange. It's kind of coming out like an orangish yellow. Look at a blue eye look. Whoa! Whoa! But it's, it's an orange. It's, or it's not orange. It's gold. It's beautiful. I really liked that. I want to make myself... Hold on, I'm sorry. Toddler moment, just give me a second. <laughs> I 
Yes, so um, I have a plan for 12 months worth of this of this fabric, um, but I'm not going to tell you because it's a future plan. It's not secret, I'm just, I'm working on it. So that's the, she's got a little Santa here, a little tree, so cute. So that's the fabric, and then I got the Christmas floss pack as well. Oh, I was going to, darn it. I don't think I have anything to show these against. I don't think I've actually opened these yet. Oh, I haven't. I definitely haven't. Okay, so... Can I use this? Nope. I don't have anything white. I'm so sorry. I'm failing. Can I use this? Nope. Well, we're just gonna have to... We're just gonna have to work for it. Okay, so you get five dyed flosses in her fab or in her um floss pack so i will show you all five this one is called iced pine it's going to be really hard to see the variegation because of my lighting i come over here <gasps> yes success look at that it's like blue and gray it's so pretty iced pine and then we have treetop glisten I love that one. It's like gold and then it variegates to like a silver. So pretty. Christmas light. It's got red, it's got green, it's got yellow. Then we've got Slay My Name. Look at that one. It almost looks like Gryffindor. It's the Gryffindor colorway. And then finally we have all the Jingle Ladies. This has like yellow, kind of orange, red, blue. So nice. So like up against the fabric. Like this one really, oh they all look so nice. Let's put it against the fabric. Smart. So smart. I we, I have um we don't talk about Bruno from Encanto stuck in my brain because I love that song I love Encanto let's put it over here so there's the Christmas pack or not Christmas pack sorry December pack from Fiberlicious Yummy Fibers and um yeah she killed it her colors I just cannot I cannot so there you go so that was my subscription for the month of December. Then, then, my mother and I went to our an LNS, which is Gita's in, not Mississauga, what's it called? Port Credit? And pretty much Mississauga. And we haven't been to Gita's in a really long time. And I went a little crazy. Um, but it's okay. So, uh... I bought some stuff. So let me show you the odds and sods, and then I'll show you the patterns that I bought. Oh, did the sun just go away? Hello. Oh no, I just moved. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I bought while we were at Gita's, my mother and I saw there, they have like a Christmas tree in the window that has all their like stitched Christmas ornaments. And my mother and I were like, oh my God, we should do matching Christmas trees. We'll mini, like stitch the, stitch the same ornament every year and then put them on our Christmas trees. My mom's gonna do more, but every year before Christmas, we're gonna stitch the same piece. So we have one picked out from Tiny Modernist for this year. So we picked our fabric. It has Gita's thing on it. It is 27 Count Lugana Vintage Country Mocha. Just a tiny little piece. They're tiny little things. It's modeled on one side and then not on the other, so I think it's printed fabric. But, yeah. I don't know what side I would want to do the piece on. So, I bought a little piece of fabric. Ooh, that was a bug. A little piece of fabric. Then they had, um, they had 
Sulky, Sulky Floss, which I have been looking for for a thousand years and I couldn't find it anywhere. And the only reason I want this is to grid because I was using a really thick plastic but now when I'm gridding, I can use Sulky Floss to grid the 10 by 10s. Oh, for crying out loud. So this is Sulky and it's much easier because it's, it's not hard plastic, it's soft. So I was super happy about that. So I got, I just got one big, this is going to last me forever. It says silver on it. That's not silver. That's, that's red. <laughs> I, I know my colors. Um, in my video where I was doing my tote journey, I found a project that was beads. It was a star and it was a freebie pattern, I think from Ink Circles, and I was beading it. Um, and I had stopped because I didn't have enough blue beads. Got more of those blue beads. So uh, hopefully I can finish that little star. 14 finishes. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna go hard ham in the finishes this year. 2022, <laughs> year of finishes. So I got those. So those are the little things that I got. And then I got three patterns, which I'm super excited for. I don't know when I'm gonna start them, but I got them. So the first one that I got is really not my style. But I saw, I pulled it out, and I just fell in love with it. It's called Glendon Place. Woodland Wonder. Look at his antlers. Oh. Yeah, so like, it's not my style, but I do love the trees. There's beading in the trees. And he's like, I just think it's so stunning. I'm not going to do it on pink. I'm going to do it on a blue. But I just think it's so pretty. So um, one thing. Then I found this in Ink Circles one. They're little Halloween mandalas. They, uh, you know, you know. So there's twelve of them, which means I could do one a month because I'm, I. I don't know what it is, but I just like, when I find something, I'm like, oh, I could turn that into a year long stitch along. Or do them over the course of 12 Halloweens. No, no. Well, maybe actually, they could be little ornaments. How big are they? 13 by 10? 13 inches by 10? No, that's for the whole piece. How big, how big is just one thing? Does it tell me? Full sampler, single block with border, 77 by 77. Stitches? Must be. Those are those are not that big. I could turn I could have like a little Mandela ornament tree. Probably not gonna do that. I'm probably gonna just stitch it on one piece. Don't make promises that you know you're not gonna follow through on. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe we could do a stitch along in the future if anybody wants to do. The Mandela stitch along. Let me know. I'm really excited about that. Again, don't know when I'm going to stitch that. And then this one is my favorite... <laughs> my favorite thing I've seen in a really long time. So I don't know if any of you are from Southern Ontario or have ever been to Gita's in Ontario. But um, they've had this particular line of patterns for years and I've always wanted to stitch them because I think they're super cute but I didn't I couldn't like find one that really spoke to me because I just want to stitch to stitch you know I, like I like to stitch the pattern but this time when I went they had this one look at, <laughs> look at this bird's face oh it's so like shut up so I brought it home to my roommate. My roommate is, an, is extremely a morning person and I am extremely not a morning person. So I view this bird as me in the morning and this is her in the morning. Cause she is, she's like just bright and sunny in the morning and I'm barely walking around. 
but aren't they cute? So I'm going to stitch this one, and then there's one on the back that I also want to show you. But I, I'm going to end up showing you the pattern by accident. This one is the opposite. So these brown birds, this is me in the evening, and this is her in the evening. Like, she's asleep, and I'm like, whoa! So I'm going to get both so we can have an AM, PM like birdness <laughs> I just love his face he's like shut up <laughs> um yeah so that's my haul oh also I have to show you this so my mother my darling mother got herself a cricket for Christmas which she wasn't allowed to open and then she did anyway but it's fine uh before Christmas I should say so she's decided that she's going to make floss drops for the entire DMC collection like all of it and she was like do you want do you want a set and I was like I would love a set but also um I'm I'm I really like the floss bags um I don't think I would want them on drops but she was pretty stoked and she wanted me to show you her idea of her little floss drops for her entire, like her entire, so she's already printed the uncut all of the DMC numbers onto little floss cards. And now she just needs to get them all. So that's my mother. That's my mother. That's it for stitching. I'm done with stitching. Um, I'm gonna do book talk, I guess. I'm just really talking. I don't have much to talk. I'm friggin still reading Dune. Look it. I'm so close to being finished. Here's the thing. Dune is set on a planet of sand. Dune. Pretty self-explanatory. We have spent like 12 chapters wandering through sand dunes. How many times do I have to hear about sand dunes? Uh, anyway, it's starting to pick up. They've they've gotten they've got to a part that wasn't covered in the movie. So like new territory for me. And I'm it's starting to pick up. Like it's starting to pick up. This is what I've read. It's starting to pick up. So good lord, I hope I finish this before I see you in February because I'm so tired of this book. I'm so tired of it, but it's like, I don't want to throw it away because I also bought the entire series. So, sorry, I had like a weird itch. I bought the entire series, so I have to read it all. Although this is the longest one. The rest of them are not this long. Anyway, that's Dune. As you can see, glowing review. Such a good book. Definitely, definitely worth your while. Um, okay, so I promised you a life update. A big life update. Okay, so I, my job, I hate my job. I've hated my job for a really long time. That's not fair. I actually, I like my job. Like, I like what I do. I just don't like where I am. And it's, it's been weighing really heavy on my mental health and just like I'm tired all the time. I'm angry all the time. Like it's really the job that I'm currently working has been so draining and it really it's been that way for probably a year. And my mom actually used to work in the same office as I did and she left like she was like goodbye. Bye. And uh, I was kind of like ugh. Me too. So my big news is that I have accepted a job offer at a new place and I'm very excited um, because it's not this place and I know that the issues that I'm having at this place are everywhere. Uh, I know that. So like I know that I'm not leaving a nightmare for a dreamscape 100% I know that. 
Um, but the company that I'm at is very, is not, they don't have proper protocols in place for human resources or just anything really. They, you know, it's a family business that's been run the same way since the 70s and it, it, it shows. And anyway, so um, the new place that I'm going, it's an accounting firm, which is actually really great for me because I started a bookkeeping course at the beginning of January as well. So I've been a little busy bee with all of this cross stitch and doing a bookkeeping course and finding a new job. Busy, <sighs> tired, <laughs> it's been a wild ride. So when I was doing my initial interviews, I had mentioned to the ladies that I was doing this bookkeeping course and they were like, that's great because you can absolutely grow in that direction in this company. So I'm just so stoked. My last day at this job is February 11th. My first day at the next job is February 22nd. So I have some time in between to just decompress, close that chapter. And uh, I just, I can already really feel a weight being lifted off me now that I don't have to go through the challenges that I've been going through at this job. Um, they did not take it very well that I was leaving. <laughs> But you know, it is what it is. Um, I just, it's gonna be better for me and I'm, oops, I'm so sorry, that was my alarm going off for some reason. It's just gonna be better for me all around and um, so I'm incredibly excited. Uh, so the next time you see me, I will be in a completely different job and I'm very excited about that. Um, yeah, big news, big news. I'm so, like, I just, I, I don't know if you could tell. I'm very excited for the change. I'm excited to leave this place behind and just move forward in a direction that I want um, because I can't grow at the company that I'm at in the direction that I want to. Like, it's just not possible. And that's not their fault. It's just not how that company is, is built. So that's my big news. Big changes, new hair, new job, new year, new me. No, I'm exact. Nope, I'm the same. Same projects, same me. Anyway, so that's my news. That's my cross stitch. That's my talk. Thank you for coming. Um, I hope you all have a lovely February. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Galentine's Day. Happy Single Awareness Day. Happy Chinese Happy Chinese New Year, Year of the Tiger. Oh, what else is happening in February? Groundhog Day. Hopefully he tells us that the snow is going away because I've had it. Anyway, okay. That's it. That's all. Thank you so much. Have a lovely month. Bye! Love of my life. <laughs> it's cold. Love of my life. <clears throat> so.